I'm Edoardo Corso of Rinaldin and I'm going to show you how to change the blades of the guillotine. For this video we are using the Morso guillotine but the process is the same for all the guillotines. To be able to change the blades I firstly have to do the following things. First, remove the plastic protection. Second, move the cutting block backwards and remove the two supporting bars. Third, I raise the cutting block completely. Fourth, move the supporting sides by making them rotate on the pivot. At this point, the blades are completely visible. I start by loosening the bolts. You can see that I'm wearing working gloves as the blades are extremely sharp. The blades need to be changed every 3-4 months depending on the volume of the work of the framer. Lastly, I unscrew the central bolt whilst holding the blade as otherwise it would fall. You do the same process with the other blade. And now apply a blade. I screw the center bolt which I have already inserted the wrench. I then apply the second and the third bolt. It's the same process for the other blade. At this point, I have to fix the blade whilst keeping the following points in mind. First, there mustn't be any space between the two points of the blades. Second, the point of one blade mustn't go over the other point of the other blade. Third, the cutting line of the two blades has to be of the same level. If the two blades have a different height, then the one which is longer has to stay higher. When I have found the definite position of the two blades, I can proceed with fixing them, but not completely, to the cutting block. I start by fixing the center bolt to the two blades. I then fix the other bolts. When I see that everything is the way it should be, I tighten the bolts again, helping myself with the steel bar of the wrench. At this point I have to be sure that there isn't a slit between the blades and the counter blades. To check this, I lower and raise the cutting block a few times. If a small slit remains between the blade and the counter blade, you have to regulate the position of the counter blade. In such a case, I have to loosen the bolts which hold the counter blade fixed. I then lower the blade alongside the counter blade and tighten the fixing bolts gradually. There's also another way to change the blade. Let's see how. I remove the first blade. I now change the used blade with the sharpened blade without removing the other blade, which is on the other side of the cutting block. I apply the central bolt of the sharpened blade by looking at the position of the other blade, which I still haven't removed. I ensure that the point of the sharpened blade coincides exactly with the point of the other blade. I then insert the other bolts without tightening them completely. I now remove the other blade. And apply the second sharpened blade.
I ensure that the two blades match perfectly. I then fix, but not completely, the bolts of the second blade. At the end, I fix all the bolts tightly by helping myself with the steel bar. After having changed the blades with one method or the other, I can carry out the final processes which are insert the supporting bars back into their track, straighten the two supporting sides which I had rotated, you have to be sure to fix them at 45 degrees, and I put back the protective plastic. The changing of the blades is complete.